hello guys welcome back to another video of automation testing insider so today i'm going to showcase you the test case template the real time test case template guys uh, which you can see right now in my screen so in the last video we have spoken about test case design what is test scenario what is test case and how to write test cases also we have seen the format of the test case so today i'm going to showcase you the real time test case template which we are using while working in any company so this is the standard template guys which we are following uh, in any company when we work for any company so format might be different here and there but mostly this is kind of a standard template so you can refer this so this video is very very important for beginners who working as a manual tester in any company as a beginner and uh, this is very important who wants to join software testing so as part of this template i have captured couple of test cases for uh, facebook application guys so which we are going to uh, talk about it like what are the test cases i have captured over here couple of test cases and this template has four tabs four uh, worksheets we have summary of the test cases what what are the what is the what are the details about the project and testing we have summary tab we have functional testing tab where we have written the test cases we have defect tab as well defects where uh, in case if you don't have uh, any tool defect tool in your company then you can use you can utilize this worksheet for uh, to raising uh, to raise the defects and we have regression testing tab as well where you can capture your uh, regression suite and execute your regression cases as well so let's talk about one of one by one all the tabs which we have uh, captured over here so we have summary as part of this template okay and here we have written couple of test cases of facebook application okay so here we have project name in summary tab we have project name or number so since we are using facebook application so simply I, you need to mention project name or project number so let's say we have project facebook uh, this is project name uh, let's say we have given some number so project facebook 01 is my project number test case authoring date so what is the date which uh, you have started authoring the test cases what is the application again you need to mention over here facebook application and uh, authoring effort what is the effort you put while writing the test cases so you need to mention over here like 30 minutes and execution effort once test cases uh, have been written now you are executing the test cases so what is the execution effort over here so this is kind of summary of all the testing effort uh, uh, testing fees right plan author who written the test cases you need to mention the tester name over here so let's say tester one written this this test cases now test case execution date what is the execution date what is the version what is the environment you you are performing on test environment or dev you need to mention over here and execution time again actual time what is the uh, execution time over here so you can put it over here what is the execution time over here and uh, executed date is done executed by who executed the test cases so let's say tester to executed these test cases so you need to mention in this particular section about the who executed the test cases now what next we have test status as well so you need to put the status like it is in progress or completed or or pending whatever status of your testing you need to put over here e scope of the testing again you need to put in this particular section test purpose or objective what is the objective of your testing you need to mention set up requirements or considerations so if you have some considerations or requirements you need to put it over here notes or special instruction while testing so again you need to mention here database changes hard work or network specification you need to mention over here items not included in the test whatever whatever the uh, requirements which are out of scope you need to mention over here uh, which are in scope you need to mention over here item sorry out of scope right assumptions while testing you need to mention here so work sheets in test plans what are the so you can say this is kind of mini test plan as well guys because we are putting all the uh, all the testing details over here so you can say this is mini test plan as well this template particularly and uh, all the projects should have functional testing regression testing worksheet 
so we have functional testing and regression testing and new worksheet can be added uh, in case of multiple modules so if you have multiple modules to test so you can add extra uh, worksheet as well defect list so we have defects tab now let's talk about the next uh, next worksheet which is functional testing so we have seen what is the naming convention of our test okay so we put all the test cases over in this particular worksheet so the first column is test script so we have seen in the last video guys what is the naming convention so test case tc and the name of the project and what is the functionality which we are going to test login functionality and 001 is the number test case number the second column is requirement so let's say we are referring business requirement document where we have different uh, business requirement points so it belongs to 1.1 so you need to mention business what is the br number and script description what is the script description of your test so verify login functionality of facebook login page with valid user and password so this is the summary of like script description uh, description about your test case systems so fb login page prerequisite or precondition so system should be connected to internet that is the first criteria and second thing is fb site should be reachable up and running and now we have next column as step number so we have written all the steps over here so the first step is open the fb site which this is the site guys so we need to open uh, this fb site and uh, as part of test data we have just provided the url whatever url like username password here we have provided username password and here we have url as test, test data right we need to provide the uh, staging environment url or uh, wherever uh, whenever wherever we are executing our test cases like dev environment or testing environment or staging environment we need to provide the url so what is the expected result against this one step description user should be able to open the url when we follow these steps open the fb site so user should be able to open the url next is actual results so this is ex expected results we are expecting this behavior and actual results url is open successfully and last column is status so if expected result is matching with actual results then status should be passed it should be passed right so if both are same then it should be passed in case if it is not matching if actual result is not matching with expected then we need to mention it as fail now let's talk about the next step verify the login page so let me just open the facebook login page facebook.com so this is the facebook login page guys where we need to enter email address or phone number and password and we have login button and we have create new account as well for forget and password as well so this is the login page of facebook and here you can see verify the login page in step number two what are the expected result we should get when we log in, uh, when we navigate to login page so the email address or phone number text box should be displayed password text uh, box field should be present login button should be present so these are the expected results on login page right and corresponding we should have actual results so email address or phone number text box are displayed and corresponding we need to write for every actual results guys so here you can see the email address or phone number text box should be displayed so in the this is for the first point actual result corresponding to the expected result for the second one password text uh, field should be present so password text box is present third is third one is login button is present so these are the actual results and all are matching with the expected results so we'll make it as pass third one is enter valid user name and password so we need to enter valid user name and password as part of part of our test case so this is the test data username and password and user should be able to enter user uh, sorry user should be able to enter username and password what is the actual, uh, actual result username and password entered successfully and status is pass what is the last step click on login button after entering the username and password we need to click on login button so here we'll we have written 
user should be able to log in into the fb application and user is logged in successfully that is passed because expected result is matching with actual results and this is the so this is part of first case test case guys now if you talk about the next test case we have new account creation so test case underscore fb underscore new account creation 002 so here you can see after entering username and password click on login button okay sorry uh, for new user this is for existing user and suppose you you don't have account so you need to create the account so you need to click on this create new account button so sign up page should be displayed this pop-up window should be displayed when you click on this create new account so here i have written verify new account creation in fb application fb sign up page as part of this column now what is the what are the prerequisite system should be connected to internet fb site should be reachable up and running and user should have valid email address or mobile number so then only you you should be able to sign up when you have valid email address or valid mobile number then only you should be able to sign into then you can sign into facebook page or facebook application right until unless if you don't have a valid email address on mobile number because it it will uh, send you some otp for verification on your mobile number and email address or email address okay so these are the steps as part of these test cases guys uh, the second test case so you can just go through it uh, which i have written over here user should be like first couple of points are same i guess create verify create new account button on login page so we here we have and corresponding we have actual results and status of the of our test cases so this is all about uh, test case template guys so if you have any questions you can ask me uh, in the comment box if you have any doubts so this is all about today thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye